Hi there, this is also another question which practices on the inclined plane by Jung Hao. So what happens here is that we have an inclined plane with a 5 kg object in this position. Now, please note that there is no additional frictional force, no external other forces acting on this 5 kg object. Now, in order to start moving into this kind of inclined plane questions, I require my students to first do the three arrows. So the completed three arrow diagram will look a little bit like this, whereby you have one arrow which moves vertically downwards, one arrow which is perpendicular to the plane, and one which is actually parallel to the plane. Now, do note that this 30 degrees and this 30 degrees, they are actually the same angle. Why? Take a look at this diagram. Now, you can pause and come back to this diagram and you will un definitely understand this. It's just simple trigonometry. Coming back to this question, so you will see that in this manner, by drawing these three lines, what happens here is that you will be able to see which is the sine cos tangent to use. Now, for the sine and cos, kindly refer to chapter 2.9 as this is just a question focused video. Now, by looking at this, first we have to identify which are the forces that we actually want to calculate. Now, by the rule of physics, we know that this object will actually slide downwards in this motion. So this creates, I mean this force is the one that is causing this object to move downwards. So therefore this is the force that we are actually looking for. So if this is 30 degrees and if it's here, we do know that 30 degrees is not in contact with this line. As this 30 degrees is in contact with this line, it's between these two lines. This angle is not in contact with that line. So therefore, by the late nature of trigonometry, I will have selected sine because sine uses the opposite. Now, so therefore, how we're going to calculate this is we can actually make it 5 sine 30 as the, this is actually 5 cos 30, this is actually 5 sine 30. So angle adjacent, angle opposite. By looking at this, you will see that the force that we actually want to use is 5 sine 30. Sorry, 50 sine 30 because we need to use the weight force. So therefore, this should be 50 sine 30, which gives rise to 25 newton. So by using 25 newton, I could do a simple F equals to ma, because I found that the force is moving this direction. So by using a simple F equals to ma, 25 newton is equal to mass of 5a, a is equal to 5 ms negative 2. Now, if none of this makes sense to you, that means that you need to go back to chapter 2.9 to look back into the sine and cos usage. A video on this will be posted up real soon. Thank you.